Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Brittany Lung. Last week we had five of our Race Face Drivers in action, so let's get started with Sheldon Creed, who is at Martinsville Speedway for Saturday's NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series race, where he qualified 14th for the NASCAR Hall of Fame 200. Sheldon patiently worked his way through the field in the first two stages and broke the top 10 on lap 124 after a red flag was lifted and the field took the green. Sheldon battled up to second in the final stage and took the lead, but that was negated after he was penalized for jumping the restart, and he was forced to serve a pass-through penalty. This penalty put Creed one lap down, but he received the free pass when the caution flew again on lap 163. In the closing laps, Creed battled from 18th to 9th, ultimately finishing 11th after getting spun off turn four, coming to the checkered flag. Up next for Sheldon, ISM Raceway in Phoenix on November 8th. Sam Mayer was also at Martinsville Speedway making his second career start in the NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series, where he started 21st and used the first 50 lap stage to patiently work his way through the field. He was 15th when the stage ended and pitted for four tires, fuel, and a track bar adjustment. Sam restarted the second 50 lap stage in 14th place. He continued to work his way forward and during a caution when the leaders pitted, he opted to stay out and gain track position. This strategy put him in the lead on lap 89 and he claimed his first stage win. As the final 100 lap stage began, Sam held his lead through several restarts, leading a total of 33 laps. He lost the lead on lap 122 during another restart and shortly after that he was caught up in a multi-track accident. His number 21 manpower Chevrolet had too much damage to complete the race, resulting in a 28th place finish. Up um, next for Sam, back in the truck at Phoenix on November 8th. Jesse Love returned to the pavement over the weekend. On Friday, Jesse had the opportunity to turn some laps at the NASCAR k and Pro Series test at Kern County Raceway Park, thanks to Toyota Racing Development and Nick Clower Motorsports and had his Toyota in the top four on the speed charts when the test ended. He also turned some laps in his SRL Southwest Tour car in preparation for Saturday's race. Let's ride along for a couple of laps in both cars. See if you can see a difference. They both look fast to me. On Saturday night, Jesse paid tribute to Jason Leffler by running his number 38 Great Clips throwback paint scheme for the 100 lap October Classic. Jesse started 14th and quickly started his march towards the front in his Nate Clower Toyota, where he eventually brought home his first top five finish, taking the checkers in fifth place. Up next for Jesse, back to the dirt this Saturday at Stockton 99 Speedway in his 5H Van Dyke Motorsports winged sprint car. Caden Honeycutt was racing at Heart of Texas Speedway in Waco on Saturday in his IMCA Dirt Modified, where the 16-year-old Willow Park, Texas driver went three for three, winning his heat race, qualifier race, and then brought home the checkered flag in the fall classic feature against some of the top dirt modified racers in the area. Up next for Caden, having a little fun in a legend car at Texas Motor Speedway on Friday. We only had one race face next driver in action last week, and that was Haley Constance, who was at Delta Speedway in Stockton, California for the 19th annual Turkey Bowl on Friday and Saturday in her 600 micro sprint. 
On Friday night, she finished fourth in heat race one, but blew a motor in the second heat race. Team Constance was hard at work Saturday morning, replacing the motor and focused on the B main, where she finished fourth, transferring into Saturday night's A main. Haley started 20th and fought her way to a 10th place finish. Here's a short video of the A main. Great job, Haley. Up next for Haley, WHR Indoor Kart Racing on November 10th. Drivers that didn't race last week but will be back in action this week include Grant Thompson, who will be back in his pro truck at Mobile International Speedway on Saturday night. Jake Bullman and William Cox will return to the INEX Legend Car Series for the Road Course World Finals at Atlanta Motor Speedway November 1st through the 3rd. This race will see drivers from around the world competing for the championship. Mini Tyrell returns to the Cars Tour Series for the final race of the year at South Boston Speedway on Saturday. Joey East will be back in his Pro Late Model this weekend at All American Speedway in Roseville, California. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, this week featuring IMSA driver Brian Henderson. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We will be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.